So what I've done, this is the shed. I've got my own personal camera here. You can see the infrared lights there. Um, this setup comes with a motion detector right here. And then it has a door sensor right there. And then there's a secondary sensor, which is right here. When I install my skylight, that's what she's going to be. So I got too excited. I didn't actually make a video about all this, but I just want to recap part of it. Originally, I saw this as just uh, the sensor. So it showed the camera. I didn't think it actually came with the camera. And then you get a, a wall. Sorry, you get a plug-in for the back of the camera. And I'll show that to you. Then you get a motion sensor, which I showed you, and then a door sensor, which is pretty cool. The um, reason why I got this is because uh, I had a bit of trouble with Amazon. And um, what do you call it? They gave me a $50 gift certificate. So it's like pretty expensive. I'll show you. Pretty daggone cheap. But uh, like for 60 bucks, you get a 1080p camera, pan, tilt, zoom, and it's Wi-Fi for your smart home. You can control it through a whole bunch of things. And it's got night vision. Pretty good cameras. Then uh, this one here was for $72, and I was like, whoa, whoa. And uh, because I had a gift certificate, I'm like, you know what, why not? So I bought it for the sense for my shed so that I can monitor everything. So I keep it in my smart apps, which I call stocking tools. And when you open it up, you've got the basement and then the doghouse. I have it in the basement because... Um, what do you call it? Uh, just in case it gets broken into. And if there's ever a leak in the water and whatnot. Now, if I click on here, it boots up pretty quickly. It goes through my Wi Fi, which is in Netgear. And you can see me in the camera right there, which is awesome. And you can uh, pan and tilt. And you can zoom in and stuff. But ain't nobody want to see that. And it's got people recognition, voice recording. It does all sorts of stuff, pictures and. And everything it's pretty pretty fancy for what you get now this is the uh, the non pan tilt version of the camera it's a $20 camera for US so it's probably like 30 bucks here and uh, it works with this but uh, the pan tilt zoom cameras also work with this so we're going to turn this around so you guys can see I want to go the other way okay I just want to go any further you hear that so what they've done is they've got an adapter that goes in the back of the camera and then it creates its own micro network. So the camera itself, which is powered by USB, you'll see that right here. It uh, has, it, so the camera connects to the Wi-Fi, and then these uh, sensors connect to the camera's micro network, kind of like Bluetooth. And the reason for that is so that uh, the batteries in these can both be smaller and they're supposedly supposed to, like, they're supposedly able to last 12 months before replacing them. Whereas a Wi-Fi sensor, which is what I was also looking at, um, will only last a couple weeks and I'd have to replace the batteries. I didn't know that until I did some research. I'm like, oh, okay. Because I was going to get a Wi-Fi sensor, plug it into the Wi-Fi network and have it all work. So that's why I went with these when I accidentally stumbled upon these sensors, which is amazing. So we're going to... Oh, wrong way. Turn back around. And these cameras are pretty dang on easy to use. So we'll get out of that. And I'll show you how easy it is to set these up. So to set it up, you hit the uh, dots or whatever. And then it asks you what you want to do. And we want, just want to add a product. It gives you a list. So you have your light bulb. You have your motion sensor. We have our uh, Waze Connect sensor. Then you have the two uh, cameras and whatnot. So that's the new camera that I just got today. I'm going to give that to a friend because they want a camera. I was going to get them the pan tilt zoom camera and it gives you updates too. So they're, they're quite frequency. So if I start moving, I'll give you another one. Motion detected. So um, they're not the best, but they work and that's what I wanted. So let's just say you will want your um, Waze connect sensor. You go into here and then you say where it is. So I call it the shed for the duck. See, you heard that. It's, it says it's ready to be connected. You get a little pin, which is in the box here. Door has been closed for five minutes. That's another sensor going off. I wanted to make sure they went for the video. And then um, 
you plug that in, it does your three dots, and then it'll connect and it gives you a little time stamp or whatever, or timeline to get into there. And that's it. It's as easy as that. So we're just going to can cancel, and then we're done with that. So we're not going to add anything. Everything's already set up to sky for the skylight and everything else. So that's pretty much it. These cameras are very intuitive. They're set up really easy. You have a bunch of, uh, oh, you want to check out, let's go for the door. So it tells me, it gives you little snapshots of what they are. And um, it, it lets you know what's going on, which is what I wanted as well. Um, one of the things you can do is you can go for the sharing of the videos, uh, sensor videos for the notifications. So door opens or closes is left open. So if you walk out and doors left open and say you forget about it, this can actually remind you. So it kind of helps you keep things secure, which was really important to me. Now it's just a shed with tools in it and stuff. And I'm putting my computer out here, as you can see here, it's kind of like a little workspace. So when I'm working and doing video editing and stuff, I'm away from everybody. It's a quiet space. I would sound edited, like uh, I have sound insulation inside these walls. Um, it's going to have its own environmental control soon. So things like that. So these things are all important to me since I'm putting so much into this, I want to be able to lock it up and be able to monitor it. So ways, cameras and sensors and everything like that, awesome. So I just want to make a quick little video and uh, hope you like it. Thanks for watching.